Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zedan's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. How's it going? My special house blend is famous in all of Morocco. Yeah, I'm not that great. Give me a bag of your breakfast and he managed to escape his name. Now he's seeking asylum at their consulate. They are all mad as hell. I can't blame them. Come closer. Our colorful land is the best in Morocco. Come closer. Come closer. Our colorful land is the best in Morocco. And a good day to you, sir. Times, no? Put in some light icing. 
Hey, buddy. You seen Crystal Dawn or something popping up? Mm. Good timing, too. But I don't see what Zabuni or Harak would do here. I'm not exactly oppressed. I like Harak. Don't know about him, Zabuni. Not like the military. Stand for Rock has ideas yeah, or an ideology that I can sympathize with. What do you mean? Well, he rejects the failed political dogmas of today. Democracy doesn't work. It's a powerhouse that fuels economic bubbles bursting like a leap here. So you don't believe in democracy? Oh, no, no, no. I do. I, I believe it. I just don't believe in what it's become. A shield to cover up corruption and you can't tell the difference between one party on the left and one on the right. It's confusing. Yeah. It is pretty depressing. And that's where I find Crystal Dawn interesting. The hell are Crystal Dawn doing? What are you talking about? Crystal Dawn are here. That's an Eastern African problem. How you doing? Got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure. We'll wait. Jeez. What does General Good, Dayton sir? want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people you believe it. Yeah. Well, what if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. Snail soup! Snail soup! 
Should we take action? No, no, we can't. They will only bring more instability. But we have been screwed. Oh, take a deep breath. I guess that you're angry. This is a time for diplomacy, not the fire. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which of course is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. We had strict security today, and you, my friend, are not on the list. Please step back and vacate the premise. Welcome. Enjoy yourself. Hello, come in! Come in! I can see you have an eye for... Hey, how you doing, sir? Go ahead. Hey, slow down, sir. Huh? Don't mind me. Excuse hey, me. Uh, don't mind me here. Hey. Oh. Watch it, dude. Have fun, sir. Come closer. I'll call the lamp to the best in Morocco. How are you? <laughs> Very charming. Salam. Head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. All those people they have no idea what's about to happen. Don't think about it. Just do the job. Some soldiers back at the school. I've heard them talking. They have fake Crystal Dawn headgear, old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot the protesters. Good day to you, Get sir. things rolling. Jesus. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in. That's a shitty outlook, man. you and me, right here, right now. Yeah. Why don't you chain yourself to the printing press when we get back? I'm sure that'll be worth Zayden to keep us in. Me? I'm gonna go stick flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, I've got a conscience, so shoot me. Keep this shit up, and somebody will. What a gentleman.
without time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. How's it going? You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. So what do you do? Uh, never you mind. General Zaydan says the man's a traitor, and that's all there is to him. Attention, everyone! Well done, 47. This ought to get Zaydan's attention. That is General Reza Zaydan, keeper of the peace. That is why we are the expanding peace. the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. What the? All right there. Let there be. Enter the that's it. Thank 
Bollywood actress, a Korean pop star, a Lebanese model, you name it. Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what he did, poor bastard. The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the merch attack Scrambridge prison transport this morning. So he uh, got cold feet, tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart. According to the soldiers, the condemned prisoner in the cell was a close friend of Zaydan. However, when his brother, a Marrakesh police officer, was killed during Strandberg's breakout, the prisoner decided to betray Zaydan and go public. Alas, he was caught before he could thwart the coup d'etat. Sir, out of my way.
seen this old man's man attitude. Deep, booming voice and chest hair, right? Come on. Everyone knows Zayden is just an upper class father. His dad was Secretary of State, and his family's practically royalty. The only way this guy was not going to become a general was if he took a dump on the flag. You can get up that That's right. Move on, people. General Satan's order. Yes. Yes. Sir. Someone in here? Thank you, sir. Hello? Dan won't expect resistance from a tied up prisoner. Time to decide. What should I do? But 
Don't tell me you're sleeping, Syed. There's plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. Sir. See you with the chow house. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Massage expert Connie Engstrom reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Officer. Okay, let's see what do we have here. 
six small screws and five sort of smaller screws. Five. Can that be right? It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known... Well, that's easy for you to say. You're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone, okay? It is that bad, Donald. It is. Believe me. Yeah, no. Oh, come on! Yeah, Donald, I can't... No, I can't hear a word you're saying. Someone turn the TV on. I... No, hold on. I'm heading outside. Do Donald? Do Donald? Donald? that moves in a counterclockwise... Okay, screw this. You let me down, naked silhouette guy. Sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, Donald. An ad, of course. Mortgage loan my ass. Massage expert Connie Angstrom reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. Officer?
Greetings, sir. Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Strandberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. I repeat, Klaus Strandberg. One moment, sir. Please go to the massage room. Careful, will you? Hey, wait a minute. I think I found a dangerous weapon. Whoa, buddy. I need to search you. Won't be long now. That's fine. Have a nice day, sir. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, uh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Massage guy. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Oh, what is it now? Ah, oh, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, their people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see... Yes. 
much sport, do you? But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Dig a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore.